Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the bevel tool. I'm going to go over tool options, and I'm going to go over the bevel modes, chamfer and solid. I'm also going to go over offset, subdivisions, we're going to go over depth, and we're going to go over each and every mode, point, polygon, and edge. Go to primitives and choose a cube. Go to NB on your keyboard to bring up garage shading lines. In the Attributes Manager, go to 3, 3, 3 for the segments in the X, Y, and Z. Press C on the keyboard to make the object editable. Then go to Live Selection Tool. We're going to go to Model Layout. And to bring up the Bevel Tool, what you will need to do is you'll need to be in the Points, edges, or polygons. So we're going to start off in the points mode, and we're going to select a point. I'm going to select this point right here. Go to MS on your keyboard to bring up the bevel tool. You can also access the bevel tool by this icon right here, or you can go to right click and go to bevel tool right down here. Dragging from left to right using your mouse, your left mouse button, click and drag, and you can access this bevel, and you can see that it tends to smooth out a point, an edge, or a polygon. In this case, in point mode, you can see that we have ac access to extra points that is added as we click and drag. Now we can add in more subdivisions and we can access an offset by using this slider here. We can also add in a value and we can use these up and down arrows as well. Now you also have an interactive way of changing the offset. You'll notice that we have uh, an orange line that's a little bit different than our selection uh, color. So if you click on it, you can access the offset as well in the viewport. Now we also have depth. And if I rotate around our object, you can kind of see this a little bit better. Whereas zero will flatten out. And then we can push in using our negative and push out using our positive. Now I want you to notice that within, while we have garage shading lines enabled, you'll notice that we have some cyan lines that indicate an n-gon. These lines will indicate where you should connect your points in order to remove the n-gons. So just keep in mind, as you're adding in points and edges and polygons, keep an eye, keep an eye out for the addition of n-gons within your object. So let's go over to edge mode and see how this tool works in this mode. I'm going to undo and I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm going to go to my live selection tool and I'm going to select the these edges at the top I'm asked to bring up my bevel tool and you'll notice my options that we have here. So I'm going to click and drag and you can see how the bevel tool works in edge mode. Now I'm going to make some adjustments in our attributes manager. Now we still have our 
interactive ability in the viewport by clicking on this orange line. You can see how we can smooth out an edge using the bevel tool. Now also keep in mind our end guns that we have here on the side. Now we also have access to a bevel mode. Currently we're in chamfer, but we also have solid, which gives us a different way of adding in different lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this could be useful as you're adding in the subdivision surface to add in some sharpening lines to your edge. I'm going to go back to chamfer. And we have a few different types of rounding. We have our, our round, but we also have user. Now this will be a little bit more obvious as we add in subdivisions. But we have a spline that we can adjust in order to change the shape. We also have these handles that will allow us to adjust the shape of our bevel. I'm going to go back to round for now. Now let's take a look at our polygon mode. I'm going to undo and I'm going to select, go to our live selection tool. And I'm going to select these polygons right here on the corner. Now if I go to MS on my keyboard to bring up our tool, keep in mind our current options here. We can click and drag within our viewport in order to make our geometry. I'm going to bring down our subdivisions a bit. So you can kind of see how this, this particular tool works. I'm going to undo back and click and drag again. Now it has the ability to work very similar to the extrude and extrude inner, sort of all in the same tool. Now what we do have here is an extra tab in the polygon mode. We have polygon extrusion. Now we can access this and push in or pull out very similar to an extrusion. Now we have a few other options here in the Typology tab. These work in Edge Mode, so you'll have to go to the Edge Mode in order to use these functions. Now at first we have Metering. And the best way to, to show this one is to go into a plane. So I'm going to hide our cube. And I'm going to go into a plane. And uh, make sure you have garage shading lines on. And I'm going to go to, say, 10 segments for the height and the width. Press C to make the object editable. I'm just going to rotate around to the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to, first I'm going to go to polygon, polygon mode and I'm going to select these polygons, hold down control, click on our edge mode and I'll select these edges and then control, click and drag and just paint and delete, or not delete, but deselect those edges. And now I want to go into our tool, so MS on your keyboard, and we have our metering. 
So if I click and drag to bevel this edge, you can see our corners here. Let me zoom in a bit. And you can see our corners, how the topology is once I bevel. You can see this result. Well, you can get a different result on these corners by using this metering option. So we're at default. We can do uniform. And you can see the edges here, how they kind of close off. And now we have a quad workflow for this. Now we also have radial. You can see now that we have triangles on our corners. But you can also see how the lines are set up here. We have an end gun here. And we have patch. Now this kind of squares off our corners. And you can see our lines here, but we still have engons on this section here, indicated by our cyan lines that Cinema 4D puts in. Okay, so now we also have ending. And the best way to explain ending is to go into another cube. So I'm going to hide our plane go to a cube, and I'm going to go to frame default. And I'm going to make this cube editable. I'm going to go into polygon mode, extrude. And I'm just going to pull this out, extrude, zoom out a little bit, pull this up, pull this back, and maybe extrude one more time. And so what I want to do is I want to select, say, just a section of our, our edges. So I'll go back to edge mode. I'm going to go to live selection. I'm just going to select, holding down shift, select these edges. I'm going to zoom around here, rotate around, and select these edges here. Let me rotate back. I'm going to go to our bevel tool. And I'm going to bevel and go down to where our ending is. And you can see that we have a few different options. We're on default. We also have extend, which extends out these uh, this bevel. And we have also have inset. So if you don't want these edges to be affected and only in these edges here. So it gives you some options when you're selecting edges and you want to bevel, but you don't you, you want to see that transition between the edges that are not selected and you're not beveling. So it gives you some options there. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.